This week we're gonna do a lovely little French pastry. It's a little bit different from what I make, but these are cannelés, cannelés from the Bordeaux region of France. They're a great little confection. They're very addictive. Oh my God, you eat one, you wanna eat the whole tray. They're so, so good. Here's how they're made. You're gonna simmer two and a half cups of milk, and then you're gonna add to this two tablespoons of butter. I cut it into little pieces so that it dissolves more quickly. And just make it simmer. Don't let this boil. You're just gonna let it simmer. And as soon as it, you see that the butter is melted, just take it off the stove and let it get like room temperature. Not room temperature, but at least lukewarm. You don't want it too hot when you add it to your other ingredients. Now we're gonna mix three eggs and three egg yolks. Look at that. Yeah. One cup of sugar, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and you're gonna whisk this until it's nice and foamy. Now I'm gonna add a quarter cup of rum and one and a quarter cup of flour. Now you're gonna slowly add the milk and butter mixture that you warmed up. And you're just gonna mix this until it's nice and smooth. That's why you want it to be lukewarm, otherwise you'll cook your eggs. And now, just mix this until you get most of the lumps out. Now you're gonna cover this and let it sit overnight in your fridge. You're gonna need a cannolet pan. This I got, this is a silicone one. You're supposed to actually make them in these copper molds. Too expensive. This was like a little over $10, much better. Now, after you get the batter out, you're gonna stir it up because you'll see that the uh, egg separates, and uh, not the egg, the, the butter separates. Then you're gonna melt a couple of tablespoons of butter and just brush the insides of it and go up the sides and make sure that you coat it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Since it's silicone, it won't stick, they say, but I don't trust silicone because I made something once and it didn't coat it and it stuck. So from then on, silicone will never be trusted by me again. Now I poured it into something that makes it easier to pour because these are like no drip measuring cups. And you're gonna pour it in about, what is that, like three quarters of the way? Yeah, at least. Yeah. Just leave like a little, like a quarter inch on top. Leave a little space for them to rise. It's all filled up, and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put them in the oven at about 425, 450 for 10 minutes. And then you're gonna lower the heat to 350, and you're gonna let them cook for about 45 minutes. Oh yeah, they take a while because you want them to get nice and dark. Trust me, you want them to get nice and dark. This is what you wanna see when you take them out of the oven, you know? See, you hear that? They're like a little hard, but that's exactly what you want. They look burned, but trust me, they are not burned. And some of them will pop up like this. See, they come out of the thing, but it's okay, they're fine. They're fine, trust me. <gasps> they're hot. But we're gonna let them cool and then we're gonna try them. You'll see that they don't come out perfectly. That's okay, they're still delicious. You have no idea. It doesn't matter that they look a little funky. Some of them a little <laughs> crooked. It doesn't matter. They are so, so good. You have, they're crunchy outside and they're, they have like a custardy taste inside. Unbelievable, you, you've never tasted anything like this. They're so good. And I'm gonna taste one. Yeah, I am. Mm. Yeah, they're crunchy outside, and you'll see, see, they're very cakey inside, almost like custody. I can't explain the, the texture of it. It's so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I had a friend, Sadia, who said that when she goes to France, she always gets these. So for years, I've been wanting to make this recipe. I finally bought the pan, I made them. I hope you try them. In the description below, I'm gonna put a link where you can purchase the pan. And I hope you try these, they're so good, so different. Mmm, I'm so crunchy. Here, here, crunch away. 
Mm. They're good. Oh, They're like so it. good. You have no idea. No idea. You'll never, ever taste anything as good as this. I hope you like them and I hope you try them. And don't forget to click like, subscribe, and enjoy. Thank you.